Did you see that? I mean, I had to play this a few times just to watch this. That woman has got some mad mafia skills. Okay, every once in a while you're looking at TikTok and then you say, man, that's actually pretty brilliant. That's genius, right? So let's talk about some ways to kind of conserve and save. This is actually from the crazy coupon lady from her website, but these TikTok videos are great. So here's the first one here. Paper towel TikTok hack you have to see to believe. Well, I need to see it. Oh, so you cut it into toilet paper. Why not just use toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> so cut it in half, it works better. That's true, I used to do that all the time and rip the t paper towels in half and voila, there it is. But I think that's pretty cool, you know? In fact, I'm gonna try it right now. Let's see what happens. So let's try it. I can't do it as fast as they do it in fast forward because I'm not fast forward. But you can click times two on this video, it might work too. So all right, let's try this out. Let's see, halfway right here. Okay, I hope this, is, this doesn't become a TikTok fail because I'm about to try this out. And by the way, kids, don't try this at home, okay? Try this with your parents. Size a knife. We get extra thick, obviously. Don't get the. Try this on the cheap stuff next time. One eternity later. Here it is. We have our official toilet paper. Whew. Yeah, it's hot, hard. All right. Well, I just apparently I'm going to save money doing this now, but I don't think I saved any energy at all. But you know what? I bet you my kids would waste a lot more of these. And hey, if we ever have a toilet paper shortage of 2020, guess what? We got toilet paper now. Woo, yeah. Whew, all right, that was fun. Well, let's see if we can find some other ways to cut costs. <laughs> I'm a dad of eight kids, so my dad jokes are even worse than yours are, guaranteed. All right, so here's the next one, talking about avoid buying prepacked foods and save money. So, little super, supermarket stock saving tip, or saving tip here, let's try it out. Seventy nine cents. That's such a good deal. I buy organic. Okay. All right. Well, that didn't tell me much of anything, but <laughs> but uh, I see their point. They're saying instead of buying prepacked, sometimes it's cheaper to buy individuals. I would just say this, and this is from my experience because I, I do a lot of grocery shopping for our family and we've got a family of 10 to feed. So when we do that, I actually look at both. I just kind of see what's the price per item, like price per vegetable or whatever it might be. Uh, there's times when we look to buy avocados, the individual avocados can be more than the bag of avocados that we might get. And so it just depends, but it's true. I mean, really pay attention to what's that cost per item. I think that's really important and often buying in bulk is cheaper although not always. All right, so this one is awesome, right? It's not only just good for conservation and getting the most out of your, your laundry detergent, but holy cow, uh, check out the skills you can actually develop from doing this. Watch this. I'm gonna assume you're talking about these. Like, obviously, it's you can still hear it in there, but you don't need um, this thing. <laughs> yeah, I keep it in here. You just need I've actually never even thought about using pliers to rip it out and then you can dump it out. I was always like the one that's trying to shake it, shake it, shake, trying to get it to come out and just waiting, or I just, usually I just wait there and just let it pour. And all I think is like A1, the thick rich one, you know, it just keeps pouring out. But that was a good idea right there, to rip it out. But she's got something better. You just need to lace. So just like wrap it around right where the little lip is and just, It'll pop right off. Holy cow. The thing is, nobody really knows that. And I don't know why, but my sister even was like, oh yeah, you can't do that with the Tide bottles. And I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. First off, I'm gonna stop right there. Did you see that? I mean, I had to play this a few times just to watch this. That woman has got some mad mafia skills. I mean, what she could do with a shoelace there? I mean, just rip that off. I, I don't even know how she pulled that one off, but do not piss her off is all I have to say. Whoever her husband is, Dude, I feel sorry for you. I wonder how many fingers he has left, or yeah, hopefully he's okay. <laughs> but man, do not tick her off. Woo! Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I didn't tell her, because, yep. Look at that. Again, do you see how much? In the bottom of this little Tide bottle. Save
save your money make sure you're doing these things one more thing just make sure you're not planning on using the bottle again because it literally rips it off of the edge like yeah. you can see it rips it because there's these little nubs on it um and it just pops off and you can't use the bottle anymore so yeah i'm sure she got recruited by some mercenaries at this point already just to like man if you see how she handles that shoelace Wait till you give her a real weapon. Oh man, it was awesome. I'm not gonna demonstrate this because I'm afraid I'm gonna be one of those TikTok fails if I try to do this thing. So I'm gonna save the embarrassment for later. It was already embarrassing enough to try to cut paper towels already. But man, that's so cool. I mean, just so many creative ways that you can actually use to conserve. So yes, TikTok has got a lot of crazy stuff on there that maybe you wonder, is this really worth it? But there are some really cool hacks that you can actually do that not only just save you some time or even save you some money, but man, they can even help save your life. You know, if somebody's trying to get you, all you need is to take off your little shoelace and go, you yeah, know, yeah, I got you. So you got life skills, you got money saving skills. It's awesome. Hey guys, <laughs> I appreciate you joining on this video today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Love to have your, your input here and hear what kind of hacks you're using to help save some money. And also check out our next video, where Dave Ramsey actually looks at Graham Stephan's portfolio. So check that out.